I look like I'm naked, <laughs> but I'm not. I have a tube top on. I am going to film a fun video. I want to do like a transformational video. Just for fun. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm gonna drink some coffee. Today I'm gonna be focusing on filming and editing and um, probably do some laundry. So fun. Okay, I'm gonna film now. Bye. I'm done filming. My headache was getting worse. So I took some Tylenol and right now I'm going to eat some ramen. But before I eat some ramen, I wouldn't be me if I didn't eat something sweet. There's this place called Black Bear Diner in Vegas and their food is great, um, but their pies are just so good. I'm gonna have a little bit, this is the chocolate cream pie. And then this is the banana cream pie. <laughs> I'm gonna have both. So I'm not gonna eat it all, just like little bits of it, but it is so freaking good. And I also made, oh, I took off my lashes and my hair and all that stuff. I had like a headache and I was like, I do not want to leave all of this stuff, leave all of them on all day. I'm not gonna be doing anything but editing. Mm. It is just divine. Mm. Ta-da! She loves this stuff. But normally when you're making, sorry, she's drinking water. Okay. But normally when you're making homemade dog food, you're supposed to add in like calcium and like different supplements for the dog. But I mean, because I, I don't make it too often, um, I like switch back and forth. Like I don't add any of that stuff. What? Okay. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna watch, but after that, Going to edit. Hopefully, this freaking headache goes away. In Boston, that's where I'm in his hometown. Exactly. So then those customers come online. I graduated from Harvard Business School. I don't even know what I look like right now, but my headache has been. It has been hurting all day. So I'm, I think I'm gonna take another Tylenol because it's been a few six hours at least, and I've been editing all day. Oh. Ta-da. Oh, it's really bright. Anyways, um, I am editing this video, but I'm gonna stop and eat something. Oh my god, I look crazy. Good morning, everybody. I'm about to do a podcast, and I'm so nervous. She should be calling, like, any minute in, like, six minutes. I'm so nervous. I don't know why. I just, I'm gonna be myself, so I shouldn't be nervous, but... You know, still. Okay, so I was nervous for nothing. I actually didn't get a call this morning for the podcast, but it's okay. Just hopefully, like, everything is okay. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Maybe I'll check in later. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are doing great. We had to reschedule the podcast. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be doing it in a few minutes. <laughs> so I guess, wish me luck. My, my throat is so oily. I've been taking this great black seed oil because supposedly it's like really good for you. But since I can't take pills, I decided to just get like the regular oil. And it's so gross taking the oil on its own. So I tried it with honey. It's still gross. And I, could, I feel like the oil has coated my throat. But anyways, I'm excited. I'm just going to sit here until she calls. Mental health and self-care. So, how has your journey been with those two things? 
Okay, just got done with the podcast. That was so lovely. Nikki is such a gracious host. I felt so comfortable. I felt like I was talking to a friend. I actually almost forgot that we were on a podcast. Nikki, if you watch my videos, thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for inviting me. I just am very appreciative. That was so cool. That was so cool. Hi, everybody. I am actually heading back to town nightclub. I finally got some of my stuff from Amazon that I ordered, supplies and stuff, because some of my work things were very run down. Like, let me show you my bag. <laughs> so, this is my queer bag that I used to bring. These were stickers that Corey gave me, so I put it on there. It is so dirty inside, and look at this side. It is duct taped because one of the straps came off and I just I just didn't want to buy a new bag. So I have like four layers, no, five layers of duct tape on there. I have expired emergency packets. I think one exploded in there. Some beads that a guest gave me. Light up ice cubes. Ew. Accordion, which is like this little filing cabinet organizer thing. Antibacterial. Sharpie. It smells so good. Maybe I should fucking spray this, jeez. I got a new bag, but it smells so bad. I sanitized it, I, it just, it smells like poison. Tons of pen. I also carry this little flat hologram thing. This has like, it has like stuff that I need, like my eyebrow pencil, just in case somebody runs into my eyebrows and it gets smeared. And it has like a little mirror in there. Scissor, tampon, hair plugs. A long time ago, when I used to do hair, the shampoo lady, she, before I left the salon, she was so sweet. She gave me this like rainbow fish and she told me that it was good luck. So um, I actually carry it around with me all the time. <laughs> and this was like, oh my gosh, years and years ago. I don't even remember her name. I just got done filming my glossy but oh my gosh my boob showing the whole time i just got done filming right now um the august glossy box video i love their stuff i have been liking like almost everything that they've been giving me it's just like a nice way to like introduce yourself to new products you know so loving that um i had a full day yesterday sorry let me close that when jacob's on a call so yesterday, Monday, was a very full day. And honestly, I'm not the type of person that like loves full days. I like relaxing. I could probably relax all the time. If I can eat good food and relax and go to like spa days and stuff, that would just be like my fave. <laughs> it's really hard for me to put myself on a set schedule. I get in these like, like this zone where I'm really good for like a few weeks and then I like relax and I go, relax, go, relax. I don't know why I'm like that. I just don't believe in like always being so busy. Like for what? I don't want to like just work my whole life and die. I want to enjoy life. I want to have fun with life. I don't want to be stressed out about always like making money and stuff, you know? Although that is important because you have to live somehow, but I know some people love being like workaholics. Like I feel like I used to be like that when I was younger. All I did was like work and make money, but not so much anymore. And honestly, I thought like if you worked really hard and you worked a lot, I thought that was like such a good thing, but I mean, I don't really agree. <laughs> I wish people would stop like glorifying working so much, you know? I feel like some people take being busy and working a lot as successful, but I don't really look at it that way, but also everyone's definition of success is different, but I just want to chill and enjoy life. I don't want to be known to be like the hardest worker. I just want to be known for being caring and kind and loving. Okay, anyways, I you know what? This dress pisses me the F off. Oh. How many am I missing? One, two, two. Fucking annoying. Oh. I'm gonna finish doing laundry and I'm going to be editing all day. I don't even know if you guys can see me, but 
I should have filmed my makeup today because I actually really like my makeup. It's so cute today. So, anyways, bon voyage. See you later.